happy Wednesday, everybody. And it being Wednesday, you know what that means? It is New Comic Book Day. So what did I get for July 24th, 2019? You'll have to stick around and find out. I'll see you in a second. And I'm back. So, as usual, I'm going to go from DC to Marvel to Independent Press. No Marvels this week, so DC to Independent Press. What did I get? Well, I'll show you. First one I got, The Flash, number 75. I think this should be the conclusion of year one. I... No, it's the year of the villain. I should have stopped after the last one, but uh, this one looks kind of good. Next, I have Detective Comics number 1048. Again, the year of the villain cover. I'm actually liking these pretty much. Some of them are good, some of them aren't. Like that... Uh, uh, Batgirl one was just horrible. Fortunately, I don't get Batgirl. So, but this one is pretty good. I like this one. And I have Justice League Dark number 13. This is, I think, my favorite of the Year of the Villain covers. I mean, look how awesome this thing looks. It is just spectacular. And, wow, okay, turns out these things are an extra dollar a piece, but they're worth it. And for my last DC book, it is a black label, a regular size black label, which is Batman Curse of the White Knight number one. I really enjoyed the last series. So hopefully this one will be just as good as the previous one. But we will find out. So that's it for DC. Let's move on to Valiant. I have one book by Valiant, which would be Psylords number two. First one kind of intrigued me, left me wanting to... Uh, See what happened in number two. So I got it. And uh, after this one, I may or may not get it. We shall see. Like I said, that was my only one for Valiant. Let's move on to Boom Studios. This would be Bone Parish number 11. This may be the second to the last issue. I, I seem to remember hearing somewhere that it's only 12 issues. And if it is the second to the last issue, I'm kind of bummed because this is a really good series. But I sort of like the way Cullen Bunn does stuff like this. He does stories that aren't too drawn out. He'll do the issues that it takes to uh, get the story done. And then, boom. Boom. <laughs> Get it? Boom. Wasn't intentional. And then just, you know, plans it out for a certain amount and then done. But if you haven't been getting this series, get it because it's awesome. All right, that's it for, D uh, for Boom Studios. And for my last comic this week, it is a series that I am very much enjoying. I haven't heard of a person who reads it that doesn't like it. Dark Red, number five. Good old vampire story uh, done by Tim Seeley. And uh, it's, it's a fun ride. 
If you haven't been getting it, get it. If the two books uh, that I recommend most this week are the last two, Bone Parish and uh, Dark Red. All right, so that's it for this week. My cover of the week, and uh, I'm going to... I can't. I, I normally try not to do uh, variant covers, but this may or may not be a variant cover, but I'm going to break the rule either, either way. This would be Justice League Dark number 13. That is an exceptional cover. And, uh, I mean, that, how beautiful is that cover? And then the the story that I'm going to stick on the bottom and I'm going to read last seems to make myself wait for the best. I always put the best for last. I think it's going to be a tie between Bone Parish and Dark Red. So it looks like this is a really good week. We've got all good stuff. All right. One more thing. I, these are all my comics. But there's one other thing that I picked up today, comic book related. And that would be this. It came out a while ago. It's the Batman Black and White. But I finally was able to uh, secure myself one and had the money to pay for it. So I'm going to get that. I'm not going to open it up. I'm going to leave it packaged up and keep it up with some of my other things for display. Okay, let me know what you think. Let me know uh, if there's anything that uh, you recommend me get. And uh, talk to you later. Like and subscribe.